Okay, so what, we, what we've got here is a switching MOSFET with a heat sink, a uh, classic plastic package power MOSFET. It's a 100 volt, 24 amp one, RF 540. Uh, we have an inductive load, so there's a, a, an inductor. And the rest of the load is my table lamp here, which is a 12 volt table lamp, 20 watts, a uh, classic uh, table lamp. Uh, we're supplying it with 24 volts because I have roughly uh, a 50% duty cycle uh, in the MOSFET and you can see that in the voltage on the MOSFET in blue. So there's the voltage on the MOSFET. When the volts are low on the MOSFET, the current is high in the load uh, and in the MOSFET. When the volts are high on the MOSFET, the current, current drops back to zero. So we're taking a big chunk of, uh, of current or a voltage away from the load to reduce its um, average power. So it's back operating roughly as it should do. I'm not doing PWM, I'm not discussing that this time. What we're looking at is the MOSFET switching. You can see when the MOSFET is on, it's got its current and it's a switch, so the voltage is low. When the MOSFET is off, there's no current and the voltage is high. What I want to demonstrate and look at in detail is the switching at uh, turn on and we'll look at the characteristics of the MOSFET to do that. Okay, what else have I got here? You can see that I've got a, a, a regulator, I've got my oscillator producing, it, it's a 13 kilohertz it says on there. Um, I've got a gate drive chip, an IRF211 uh, gate driver chip driving the uh, gate of the MOSFET with a voltage waveform. And you can see that. Put that on there. There's the gate voltage waveform. And I'm measuring the current with two little uh, 0.1 ohm power resistors there just to get that MOSFET gate current. What you see immediately is that the gate voltage is not a simple uh, on off. It has some specific characteristics, notably the plateau, as we call it, in the gate voltage at uh, turn on and at turn off. And we can expand that a little bit, see what's happening. Where is this plateau coming from? Well, what we can check, I've got that exactly on zero there. What we can see is that the gate voltage has to rise to some voltage level. We can turn that up a bit. It has to rise to some voltage level before the current increases. I take that current down, we can just see uh, it's about there. So it's not actually at the plateau level, it's some way below the plateau level when the current starts to increase. That's because a MOSFET has a threshold voltage. Nothing happens in a MOSFET until we've reached the threshold voltage at the gate. Once we've reached the threshold, then the current can increase, and that's fine. But we've got to get to the uh, load current level in our lamp, in the inductor, before the freewheel diode can turn on. So the gate waveform continues a simple exponential type of rise, a resistor into a capacitor, and the current starts to increase. And we can expand that out um, some more see a very nice shape of that current there. I'll move that back a little bit. Um, ignore, if you will, this little bit of current there. We are looking actually at the source um, current, uh, not at the drain current. We're overshooting the load current level because we have a diode. We have the diode recovery on there. So the, the freewheel diode has to have a negative current through it, which means increasing current through the MOSFET before it turns off. Then it turns off, we drop back to low current level, a little bit of ringing there, a very classic freewheel diode recovery there. Notice too the gate voltage has continued its rise right up to this point there, then in fact it drops a little tiny bit as it does the current because this at the moment, the MOSFET is being current controlled via the gate. And then we drop back onto this plateau level here. And notice how flat that really is. The current is fixed, that gate voltage is fixed. We'll just bring that back so you can see. There we go. So we've got this 
fixed period through there, and then the gate resumes its rise a bit later. Clearly nothing to do with the current, because the current in the MOSFET is fixed. So what is that plateau to do with? Well, it's all to do with the voltage. So we need to bring back the uh, collector voltage. Okay, now let's crank it out. Okay, so now we can see what's happening here. Bring it, get rid of that. And now we can crank out a little bit more. There we go. So what we can see here then, if I move this down, we can see that that plateau, the current has gone back to low current level, but now that plateau coincides exactly with the volts on the MOSFET starting to collapse, the drain source voltage starting to collapse. Take that zero back to there. Okay. What you see here is that it's very non-linear through here, but it coincides again completely. When, the, when those volts have got back to, to roughly zero, our on-state voltage, then the gate source voltage can resume its rise, its exponential rise. So this plateau is entirely due to the, uh, the volts on the, drain, on the MOSFET collapsing. That's the drain source, uh, sorry, the uh, drain gate capacitance being charged, or discharged in fact, uh, if you think about it that way, via the gate. The gate voltage is fixed, the gate drive voltage is fixed at 15 volts off our regulated supply and our driver chip, and we have a gate resistor, so we've got two voltages that are fixed, we've got a fixed gate resistor, we have a constant current into our capacitance, sometimes called the Miller capacitance, and that's a non-linear capacitance, so the constant current drives a different uh, non-linear rate of change of voltage. And the capacitance grows very rapidly as the volts on the MOSFET become much smaller. So you can see that the dV dt, the slope, drops uh, much slower as we get to very low voltages. So this will appear in any type of uh, MOSFET switching, unless you have an extremely small gate drive resistor. Why would you have a small gate drive resistor? Well, to avoid the, bring that back, to, to avoid the uh, uh, slow switching, but if you do that, you then have very fast switching um, at turn on and the diode recovery becomes very bad. So usually it's a compromise and the compromise almost inevitably leads to this uh, shape in the voltage and the gate voltage plateau. And just to uh, check, you actually get exactly or very similar, not quite exactly the same, but very similar um, uh, waveforms at turn off. We go back up, we bring the volts down until the, we've just got the right voltage for the current, the low current level, and then the volts can rise, but they rise again non-linearly uh, with again a plateau in the gate voltage there. So it's not the gate threshold voltage, it's the gate threshold voltage plus the voltage required to drive the load current level. So that plateau will vary with the load current level and this speed will vary therefore with the load current level a bit as well. Okay, that's MOSFET switching uh, with very uh, characteristic waveforms.